Welcome to First Look, brought to you by the Edamame Anime Club. I'm Steve, and I'm joined by my host. Alexander, great to be here. Always great to be here. I meant to say co-host. Um, <laughs> Always great to be here. Well, let's crack open these beers. All right. Hey, went for the twist off this time. I know, dude. Kampai. Kampai. So for those who are just joining in, um, first look is where we watch the first two episodes of Anatomy and we tell you whether you should watch it or drop it. And we have a, uh, we, I think this is a banger. Uh, it's it's, think it's it's a banger? I think it's a banger. I mean, as far as like talked about and buzz. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm getting at. I'm not going to say whether I think you should watch or drop it yet, but I do okay. think it has a lot of buzz. No, it definitely does. It's uh, consistently on like the top 10 uh, watched anime of the week. What are we doing? Uh, Shangri La Frontier. Shangri La Frontier. Uh, I think I brought this here to <laughs> you. Were try- you've been trying to get me to watch this one for a while. I, I, I kind of, I so it wasn't what I expected. Like it wasn't what I expected. Um, and I don't know if you remember, but I just, I simply didn't want to watch it because the main character was a bird. Like, yeah. I, I, I didn't care anything other than that aspect of it. I, I, I agreed as well. I, I didn't. I wanted to watch it because somebody on it was on the TikTok thing, and I know I'm always on TikTok and. It was just like, hey, I heard your favorite anime is going to get animated, or your manga is going to get animated. Mm-hmm. He's all, yeah. Sean we La Frontier, and I was all, damn, must be good. Then I watched a scene about, uh, a scene from it. I won't say what it is yet, because I haven't gotten the spoiler section, but, and it wasn't what I expected. Okay. And I didn't like that. I'll explain why. And and you're gonna agree with. I mean, I didn't know. I didn't know anything about it other than the main character is a bird, and it's an. It was like an action shonen. That's all I knew about it. What I've been noticing about you is that you are like the you. You judge a book by its cover all the time. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like one of those things. Like you want to watch something that you think is cool, right? Yeah. And you know, I mean, uh, we play fighting games, right? Yeah. Uh, you know how people talk about how um, uh, the fighting game um, Dems fighting herds. Was like one of the best fighting games. <laughs> it's it's not. It's okay. Ass. Well, apparently it's got good mechanics, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I want to watch anime. I think is cool. Just like I want to play fighting games that I think are cool. So you're not gonna play herds. Is that what you're getting? At? No, I never was going to. No, <laughs> no. Um, you will have to. Even if you bought me the game, you'd have to convince me to play it. We'd probably. have to be drunk. Right? Yeah, you, and then I might turn on once. It's not. It's not something I desire to play. So this is something I did not desire to watch. I mean, because I look at the main character and I'm. Like I'm just thinking, like I don't want to watch. You know, that's my. You right. I am judging a book by, yeah. book by its cover. <clears throat> I didn't want to watch uh, a Hawkman or yeah. you know well, the kill things. You don't want to watch Falcon, or, uh, <laughs> Star Fox. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's what I was just thinking. That was my train of thought. Yeah. Well. Uh. Uh. Yeah. I, again, I I wasn't what I expected, but I'm I, again. I, I'm just putting yeah. it out. You the, the Dark Gathering one. You I didn't want to watch the other anime. <laughs> the dark Gathering. Uh, <laughs> But with that being said, uh, is there any? Let's get some background information on uh, Shangri La Frontier, also known as SLF. Oh yeah, that's what they call it in yeah. in, in, in world. It's a, it's the video game name SLF. Yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, uh, I forget, I, I've noticed that like they say it kind of weird. Like it'll say SLF in the subtitles, but like the way it, like w- the words I hear are not SLF or mm. yeah. Well, I think you probably watched this. <laughs> I watched my dub. Oh, you watched it. Yeah, dubbed. Watched it dubbed. Okay, well, you'll have to talk about that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, Shangri La Frontier is a web novel series written by Katerina. It's interesting that Katerina doesn't have a last name. So, I wonder if that's like a Alias. moniker. Yeah. Hmm. Also, like a web novel, for those who don't know, is like essentially like it'd be like if you started your own website or like your own blog and you wrote a book and you posted your book chapter by chapter online oh. so this it's supposed to be like a legitimate book that you're writing and so it's a web novel so so she's writing a story yeah, yeah. that's interesting and so yeah. it's basically a book um there might be like kind of like how light, light novels are though they might add some images and show you what the characters look like yeah is this common yes it's common for, well, for for example um Mishoku tensei i i read the, the web novel oh, okay and then remember i was telling you we're getting off track but um uh, Mishoku tensei finally has the light novels that are getting the official translations i when i was reading the web novel um i had to stop it like after like uh, web novel 15 or 16 or whatever because like it was just like it was machine translated japanese and english so it was like someone wrote it like a script and then translated it over and that's oh, how you had to read it it, didn't work. it was very it was very noticeable okay yeah so anyways yes it's common um people do web novels all right. Uh, so it's interesting that this one uh, got picked up. So it must actually be pretty good. Yeah. Uh, so again, it's a web novel. Um, 
uh, a manga adaptation uh, began publishing in 2020 in the Weekly Shonen Magazine. And then the anime was announced for October 2023, produced by C2C, which I've never heard of C2C. So I went and scrolled through their uh, their page to see what they've done. And the only anime that I recognize out of all of theirs is Reincarnated as a Sword. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And I, uh, I actually watched that. Like well, <laughs> I watched the first two episodes and I, I didn't finish. I, I it, it imagine was, why. It was one of those, um, you know. <laughs> those, those trash isekais, <laughs> yeah. those outlandish isekais. Yes, that's exactly what it was. It re reincarnated a sword. So I remember them for that one. Everything else, um, never heard of. Uh, but it is funny that I actually watched that anime. So I don't know. To me, that sets the bar very low for Shangri La so far. Just, just oh, hearing hear that, hearing that background. Yeah, yeah. The studio. Uh, other than that, yeah. Um. It won the 47th uh, Kodansha Manga Award in the Shonen category in 2023. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Is, uh, there, is there a name for this type of anime? Like, it's not it's not Isekai. <laughs> this no. is, again, they're like, we're, it's like subsets of Isekai. I don't know. Whatever, like, um, I don't know what kind of anime this is, to be honest. Yeah. It's not an Isekai. It's not an Isekai, yeah. but it's like a fantasy, but by virtual reality. I bet you there's a term for it. Yeah. We need to start looking up those terms. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. I'm sure there is. Yeah. I don't know if you're familiar with Sword Art Online, though. Uh, in that one, um, they they like the characters in the real world, and they go to uh, the video game, right? But the the, the major plot twist in that is they get stuck there, right? They can't go back to the real world. This one, they're obviously going back and forth. Yeah, from what we know, because yeah. we only seen the first two episodes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, you got anything else? Yeah. All right. Well, let's jump into this. Uh, we'll we'll, we'll talk about this anime and kind of dive deep and do an overview of it. Uh, for the first two episodes and then we'll go ahead and let you know guys if you should watch it or drop it so i will kind of jump into there let's talk about the music and the introduction the outro the outro as well dude uh i actually really enjoyed the introduction music like i thought that was like a high point it was amazing yeah that was a really good i was already like kind of like you know like you said i kind of got into the, went into the anime watching like i don't want to watch this stupid bird man then you know the intro got me in the mood. I was like, actually, kind of all right. Yeah. You know, I, I see you. Um, the animation was actually really really good. Like I was like, okay, it's setting it's setting the bar pretty high now. Yeah, like it, it was absolutely solid. Like, yeah, yeah. And even like the animation and the introduction mm -hmm. showing all the showing out these all new characters like this whole group that I'm assuming they all kind of team up toward the yeah. end and kind of get like an adventures group going. We, we get to see showcase a couple badasses in there. There's one that has like a staff. Yeah. She she looks badass. Yeah. So I'm curious about that one, and and really, when you see introductions like this, it makes you want to watch yeah. the anime. Like it's such a good introduction, and I always say, you know, we don't, I don't judge a book by its cover, but if an anime has a sick ass intro, I'm gonna want to watch it. Yeah, I'm gonna want to watch it, and I'm gonna want to watch the intro every single time. Yeah, outro. The outro, um, it wasn't as good as the intro, but I still liked it. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I, I thought it was kind of comical. Um, like, cause after the outro drop, they had like a Shangri La Frontier short story. Yeah, they something. had like a little puppet show. Yeah, and it was like him, and they yeah. talked a little bit about that. I did like that. Yeah. I thought it was kind of funny because I seen that other anime where they do that, so I thought it was kind of cool. The outro music was pretty good too. Yeah. And yeah, uh, so all all around that, the music intro and outro were pretty solid, and they definitely made me stick around for that. Yeah. Now you already talked about this a little bit, but the animation. The animation was solid, top notch. Like now, again, dude, I'm blind to this shit. Is it CGI anywhere? I didn't. I didn't. If it is, I didn't notice it. No, I don't right? think. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't figure it out where it would be CGI, but I noticed that like, like, even like the fight scenes were pretty epic. Like, like, like it'll be CGI if you see them like drawing sigils like in the middle of the air, like you know those little circles that'll form in the air, and it'll have like you know, oh, I see. Yeah. A, a really intricate pattern. Those yeah. those will be CGI, but those are like, you know. Uh, not as noticeable yeah i i was really like it was solid yeah like there, there's even like a really cool scene where he like does like a double front flip off a tree and like it i feel like each frame was pretty like like yeah. they did a good job on like it was like every frame was like a like a small spin yeah downward as he does this front flip off a tree and the fight scenes really just kind of depict all the animation because again 
I always shit on anime like uh, uh, Reincarnated Vending Machine, mm-hmm. where it's like uh, character strikes. This show, yeah. yeah. And and it doesn't show them like hitting or nothing. It shows them either blocking and it's a still frame, or them like dodging and it's like them floating away from the still frame yeah. sword going down. And it just feels like it's lazy and it doesn't show. I want to see them box. I want to see them actually throw hands. Yeah. And you actually get that with this anime. Yeah. So even though it's fucking frogs and rabbits and yeah fucking goblins the, and the, shit. the monsters weren't very impressive but the animation was and it it did a good job of like uh what it was going for is trying to make you feel like you're a beginner to a video game and, oh yeah, you know, yeah um yeah uh so i'm kind of change gears here what do you think about like the overall plot like um I don't know whether I liked how they try to set him up as being like a badass in this game like like other anime um or isekais would be like, okay, he's born with a special skill, or this guy came yeah. into the video game and like uh, figured out like the secret hack or whatever. Um, this one, like his backstory of why he's badass at this game and these type of games is because he plays super, like he's essentially like a speedrunner playing like super shitty games. Yeah. Like, like that's what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which I, I thought it was kind of funny. There are some things I'll, I'll touch on I, I that as like, like for me as a gamer and you as a gamer that you probably saw as well. Uh, but yeah, I didn't like that so basically, you're in a world where like everything's virtual reality, and mm. uh, some games just haven't topped off being like a sick virtual reality, game except like a couple, a few like head headhunter like lineups that we have, yeah. you know. And and this one particular one he talks about, which is really funny. I wasn't put this on my favorite team, but like it was, um, he's playing this like really shitty game to where like, and you don't even know it's shitty because it looks badass. Because mm-hmm. the first minute of the anime is him in this game fighting this giant demonic creature. And he's in like a wrestler's outfit in his underwear. Yeah, and... yeah, he's wearing like a luchador <laughs> Mexican wrestling outfit. And it's funny because you're just thinking like, you know, is this the anime? Mm-hmm. And then he turns around and kicks like the princess. Yeah. And you're like, and then he, that's him winning, which was kind of funny. I thought <laughs> it was kind of funny. I, I knew it wasn't being serious because um, his little luchador mask. It's got like a little swirl on it. Like it literally looked like it was like a, a turd. Oh. Like, <laughs> like a turd swirl on the top of it. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Uh, and you know that's I thought that was kind of interesting because we do see people still play kind of awful games, yeah. Just for like not just the nostalgia, but really just because it was an awful game, yeah. Or people will speed run like the impossible games to beat, and that's essentially what these are. I mean, some of some of the games that like people do that are like super shitty are actually really hard to beat. Yeah. Like I, I mean, I don't know, like Awesome Possum, I think from SNES is like yeah. a actually difficult game. Yeah, Battle Toads, I heard is pretty difficult mm, as well. I haven't played Battle Toads, yeah. but yeah, yeah, just shit like that, yeah. Cuphead is a pretty hard game. I, I mean, that's not like a shitty game, though. It's not a shitty game. Shitty game. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, in, yeah. in general... Like, It'd be like if you were playing Dark Souls, but Dark Souls was like... Like, you, had, you, had, had ass tons of bugs, everything was broken, it wasn't balanced, like... Like, you can roll, you roll through walls and shit. Yeah. Yeah, so that was kind of... A, I thought that was... And you're right, I did like... I kind of like that story, though. I don't know how they could have gone with, like, uh, him. Maybe... I, I think it'd be too easy for him to be just a good gamer. Yeah, like, like he was like beating like every I said, game. Yeah, like I said, that that's his edge. He, yeah. he not only is he a good gamer and he beats games, but he beats like the super hard and the super shitty ones. Yeah, like I, I think it would be it'd be easier like in the writing to just be like this guy plays like every game and he wins it. He's like the Elden Ring champ. Whatever. Yeah. He beat all the Dark Souls. He beat Sirico. Well, they, they kind of do that in no game, no life though. Oh, okay. So, where they're already the best. So I can I can see it being an easy write for that, <clears throat> but this is a different tell. Yeah. Yeah, so you're right. I mean, I did, I did enjoy. I did. I, I'm not sure if you enjoyed it. I enjoyed. It. <laughs> I enjoyed that aspect of it. It was kind of comical watching him like play these shitty games and yeah. describes them. I, I didn't necessarily like that about him, but I could see what they, what they were going for. So I don't hate it. We didn't even say their names yet. We haven't got any characters. <laughs> yeah. But, but I, I, you're right though. I, let's jump into the characters a little bit. And there's only a few that I have. We have Rankuro Hisohada, who's also son. San Ruka? San Ruka? San Rico is his uh, in-game it's, alias. Yeah. Also, they made this sound like it was kind of like controversial where they're like, he's one of those gamers that uses the same alias every single game he plays. Is that is that like, is that bad? I don't know. I mean, that's what I do. I yeah. have the same alias I've always used. So yeah, yeah like same, they, they yeah. made it seem like it was something weird. Yeah. So oh, I was kind of curious. I didn't, I, I didn't catch it. It was being like, I just yeah. thought that was like, what he was known for but why not do i don't why other players aren't doing that yeah. you'd be weird if you had a different gamer tag for like <laughs> all your systems and games although every time we do play like valheim i change my name yeah that's a little different yeah though. because i'm just trying to troll we, we know who we know who each other is yeah like, so yeah. it is it is a little uh i mean that's something i think is normal maybe not in japan but it's normal here yeah so we have uh 
uh, Rankuro. Rankuro. The main character, the badass. The badass who, gamer. Who beats the Yeah, he, he actually has some drip to him. Sort of, yeah, yeah. He looks pretty fucking cool. Oh, yeah, no, he does. With the gray hair, you know, he's walking around Mr. Cool Guy. And he's he's not afraid to be who he is. Yeah. Everyone knows him as that guy that plays shitty games. Yeah, I like that they didn't set him up as some kind of, like, wimp. Like, yes. yeah, he, he, like he's actually, like, seems like he has a good social life and yeah. stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, which is another, which is funny, because there's another anime that talks about video games called uh, High Score Girl, which a, talks about a guy that's good at fighting games. Hmm. which we probably should do soon because it kind of fits our niche. But anyways, I'm getting a little off topic here. But in that game, he's kind of the outcast. He's like the dim-witted, like, oh, all he wants to do is play games. He's not trying to impress anyone. Hmm. But really, the same thing goes to this guy because he's not trying to impress anyone. He just likes to do that's his. That's his whole life. He comes home from school. He buys a shitty game. He goes and plays until he beats it, no matter what. Yeah, That's his whole, his whole life. His mom is like a... a she looks like some kind of weird bug or animal collector. Et, 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 etymologist? Etymologist, maybe. Yeah, that is, that would be if you're saying like a in, studies insects. Yeah. Yeah. So I think. How'd you get that? What? That she's an etymologist. She, there's butterflies. Oh, you're just assuming. Okay. I was yeah. like, did they mention that? No, yeah. She's got like bugs and. There are like, butterflies everywhere. He's like, one of your butterflies got out. Yeah, there's also beetles and yeah, stuff. So I think she's an etymologist. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, which I don't. Do they ever show her? No. Okay, cool. It's I'm just glad. A voice. I'm glad they didn't show her. And then we get into another character, which I, I really like this character. Her name's Ray, right? Yeah, Ray Saigo. Saigo. Yeah. I, I, see, I see. Yeah. I actually do like her, too. I like I like kind of the uh, the paradigm, the duality they got Yeah. between I, the two. I, I do, And again, I'm going to quote High School Girl, because that's literally one of the plot points in High School, High School Girl. Like the girl, one of the girls wants is smitten with him and wants to be good at games. And it's because of badass like fighting game girl. So you've seen this before? Yeah, yeah, I've seen it's, it. It's an anime. Yeah, it's an anime. Uh-huh. It's, it's pretty okay. good. <laughs> Anyways, and it's kind—it's of, kind of the same thing with her. Like we—you don't really know this yet, but in the beginning, you get to understand a little bit about her and that she's been trying to impress them by playing games herself. Okay. And it only later on you find out that she probably has already been playing Shangri La Frontier. Because she has, has like the most equipped shit. Oh yeah, she has the most equipped shit. She yeah. is all badass. She's all decked yeah. out. She looks like Goblin Slayer on Juice. <laughs> right? She's like really yeah. like she has the good shit. I, and... I, I like that. Yeah, she's like basically like one of the most renowned. They even said like she's in like a super high tier guild. Yeah. So yeah, she's a, she's a hardcore gamer and she's like up there in, in the game. Yeah. Yeah, which is surprising, right? Because like yeah. you would expect her because she's been trying to impress this kid, yeah. this guy. She's yeah. like smitten with him. She likes him, and uh, to do this, she's been like. Following him to this gamer shop, which they they had one of my other favorite characters, even though she's only small. Her name is Mana. Yeah. I just like her character design, and I like the way they're introducing characters with like a like a gamer stat card. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. It's not really giving stats, but it just shows like like it freeze frames on there, just like Mana, and mm-hmm. then it like it looks like a, like she has a health bar on top. Yeah. So I definitely really enjoyed that. So, and those are the only three people that I think I are in episode one and two that we really yeah. need worth mentioning. They they are alluding and they don't show up in the first two episodes. Um, but he does see like when he's in like the swamp, he sees those two girls that are in the intro walking oh, by. Okay. So you know, yeah, those we don't, two. Yeah, we they don't ever meet or anything, but you know, setting it up already. Well, there's two other characters that have like voice like speaking roles, and they're like uh, it's like a cu- it's like uh, like a friend zone guy, like a guy that's in the friend zone. Oh and yeah. Convinces, like the his girl crush to like play the game with her. Yeah. And she's kind of like dim witted. She wants to kill everyone. That was kind of a funny scene because that's exactly like uh, how um, Ray wants wants uh, you know him, her, and uh, oh, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, which I guess Rinkiro or Rinkiro, yeah, 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 yeah. So they're gonna meet in the game, and that was gonna be the scene playing out. Yeah, I mean, I think that's noble. <laughs> I think it's cool that a, like a girl is like, willing to go that far to like, yeah. to like be with a guy. So, yeah, so those are the really only characters that are really worth mentioning. We talked a little about the story plot. I, I think we can jump into our favorite scenes, man. All right. Yeah, there's a couple one. I mean, the beginning one, <laughs> the beginning one <laughs> is pretty important. Charles, come here, come here, Charles, come here. No, don't I, show them your butt. I, I mean, I know that you think people want to be looking at our faces, but they're okay with looking at Charles for a few seconds. Looking at his butthole. No, they are because you distracted him. Oh, I, <laughs> yeah, anyways, yeah, anyways. So the very opening scene, of course, was a great way to just to bring in like the comedic aspect of it all. Yeah. So I, I did enjoy that. Uh, I did enjoy. Uh, I, I really enjoyed that. 
you know, he did that in the game, and I, I enjoyed just that. That's our first introduction to the main character. Yeah. Um, I didn't know, like, how serious it was going to be. Like, obviously, it was being, like, kind of funny. I didn't really care that, like, his his introduction. Like, I found myself not really liking uh, Rick Hero. that it was going back and forth between his character and the world and him, like, there. Yeah. That makes sense. Like, I... I I didn't really like that about the first episode. Um, I guess I got over it. Um, I didn't want to, I don't want to see like half of him. And you know, this is where I'm curious to where it's going to go with it. Like, I don't want to see him like going to school in between all this. Like obviously the plot and the story and the meat of everything is going to be in this video game. Oh, I see what you're saying. You know, yeah. like how much can they interact with him in the real world other than between him and Ray? You know, like yeah. I don't want to see them do an episode of him like, no, he wants to, he's got to hang out with his friends, but you know, like he wants but he wants to, to go play the game. <laughs> yeah. And then Ray's waiting for him and they miss out. You know, I don't yeah. want to see him doing that shit. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to see him being annoying. Yeah. Now. I don't want to see a filler episode of him in the real world. Yeah. I want to see him play this damn game. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> okay. I can see that being kind of an issue. I, I do. I actually don't want to see that either. I want to actually want to keep him in this game. Yeah, the, I, I, the, the game is the most interesting part of this yeah. this story that's unfolding yeah. in front of us. They're, they're, so yeah, I, I don't like that they do have like a slice of life aspect of it, mm-hmm. but I and I like slice of life. But I'm coming here to watch a shonen. Yeah, you got uh, before I get in this other scene because you're gonna relate to me on this scene. Uh, you got you got one you want to throw in? There? Yeah, um, I actually really enjoyed that scene where he's um, like mining. Wow, uh, and, and like a swamp <laughs> and he's like mining and like there's a frog that like jumps next to him and he's like <laughs> he says like frogger or yeah <laughs> he keeps saying he, he says like gecko or something I forget yeah. what they say that's how the Japanese say ribbit but yeah. like he's there and he's like oh like I would kill you but I'm, I'm busy mining or whatever and then he just starts being like annoying as fuck <laughs> and like just <laughs> keeps Smash like mad, riveting right? and then he starts like his like special ability like protects himself in mud and then he just starts like shaking like a dog basically throwing mud everywhere <laughs> and it convinces the main character to go finish off the, the frog which I thought was really funny I, I thought it was funny too and his gear was made out of that frog skin yeah, yeah. which kind of like was beneficial the, yeah. the scene that I thought I really liked that I relate to was in that mining scene there is a scene where uh, he's like mining a rock and a, ro- a stone falls out. And he's all, dang it, a stone? I need flint. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so yeah. When I play Valheim or those games, I'm all only finding fucking yeah. stone. I can't find flint to make an axe. <laughs> so like I'm getting hella pissed off. And it makes me mad because like what he's relating to, I literally feel that all the time. Yeah. When I play these mining games, I'm just like, I don't want stone. I have, like you look at my inventory, it's like 200 stone, one flint. <laughs> like I'm out there for ever finding these flints. Uh, but I can't find them. So I relate to that very well, 100%. The uh, so that was I I like the mining scene a lot. There's a couple other scenes that really were good. I thought were more comical. Like uh, I I really thought the the whole scene with the girl that like the uh, she's uh she's like the friend zone girl. Yeah. The friend zone girl. She's the girl with the bow and arrow. Oh okay. She's the girl with the bow and arrow and. That she is like wants to kill these guys, and he mm. goes, "You don't want to do that because you'll get like a uh, a skull next to your a name." PK, your, your PK. Yeah, and you'll and, and she's like, "Ooh, I kind of like that." <laughs> and I was like, "That's kind of funny," and I want to see them more, like their dynamic, yeah, like how that's gonna build off. So yeah. I, I'm curious about that. Yeah, one of the scenes that I actually liked was um, and you kind of touched on this earlier. It was kind of like him jumping into the into the video game. Like it actually made me feel like like this isn't far from our future, you know, like oh, yeah. booting up into the virtual reality, laying down, et cetera. And then they just made the game seem as if like you were playing it for the first time, which I thought was a very nice touch. Like I legitimately felt like I could be watching an opening scene of the video game, uh, oh, kind yeah. of thing. You like know? POV. Yeah. Yeah. POV. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then like, he has also has this like line where he's like, this is like what every, like gamer lives for like to to boot up in a new world like a, a new place and experience it for the first time like i i vibed with that like i thought that was good yeah it was awesome like to see <laughs> it was like to wake up and like you're it's just like you know you're in like 3d land and you're scrolling through all these like i mm-hmm. like what do you want your character to look like and he's like i'm gonna make my character serious and he puts them in like board shorts and like a 
a falcon and yeah. a bird head face. Yeah. So at least they at least they explain that he's not doesn't actually have a bird head. It's just a mask. And he has it so he can like hide his face. Yeah, because he uses the same name, which uh, kind of brought up the question to me. Like, so is everyone in the virtual reality like? It has to be themselves. Like, that's what they actually look like in real life. And that's why he chooses to hide his face. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. I was like, so how does Raids work? Does she, like, have I a think, body? And so I assume that's why they're doing that, too. Because if she takes off her helmet, regardless of what her username is or whatever, like, he would recognize her. Yeah. That a, has to be what as it is. A, as a 6'4 ogre. Like, <laughs> yeah. Ogre looking. She, she's on stilts inside yeah. the armor. She's a 6'4 <laughs> linebacker. <laughs> that's what she looks like in the real world. So... That, yeah, I think that was great. I really enjoyed that aspect of it all about how that uh, it did look pretty badass. Like, he's, like, looking at his hands. He's like, I got super speed. Yeah. I, I did like the first interaction with the, uh, like, the goblin. Uh, like, the little goblin. Like, he strikes them. Because yeah. they, they were very intricate on the rules. So, yeah. like, you had to have, like, a critical strike to actually kill them. Yeah. Which is kind of a, a, a like, a, not a trope, but a lot of games require you to have like a critical strike yeah i know like metal gear solid revengeance has that where you have to do like a parry then a strike yeah so he was very contingent on that it's, it's an important scene because it's building up on the idea that this is still a video game like you have to do things in the right world even though they're also building up that essentially like he's moving himself like he's like got total control like his mind is physically like it might as well be him in this video game as far you know if you boosted up his stats and made him athletic etc yeah. you know it's like literally him physically being able to do this at the same time yeah. within video game rules. Yeah, and I like that they gave him because he shows like the path of a wanderer. Mm -hmm. And because of that, and again, this is the English. I watched the dub and we'll talk about that in a bit, but the, he's chose the path of a wanderer, which may seem like uh, like it, it takes away certain abilities and it puts you in like scenarios that a normal like traveler would not go through. And they touch base on that. And that's why the Ray is having a hard time finding him. Yeah. And they, I like that they touched on that. What I didn't like, though, as a gamer, and I've played games with you. i played Resident Evil 5 with you. <laughs> so if you're a, an adamant gamer okay. and you played, like, shitty games that are, like, long, boring, you know, you even says, like, it took three hours for me to, like, get this princess to stop crying or something. Yeah. So there's a level of patience. Do you Would you just skim past the Star Wars, the prologue like he did <laughs> like would you just say i don't want to listen to no, this? no 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 i wouldn't yeah. not me no although if you watch the end of the very first episode they, yeah, they showed, they showed yeah. the prologue yeah. yeah but see i'm just saying as like he just skimmed it as he's a gamer like he's like like known yeah. for being this and he's yeah. like i don't know watch this I don't yeah, this doesn't make him be a funny scene but yeah i don't think a real gamer would do that yeah. also um one of the things i noticed um is that the the text was different whenever because I, I paused it to read it when he's like, I'm going to skip it. I like, you know, backed up a little bit. And I paused it and read it, and it was slightly different on the outro. Oh. Like, like the wording. <laughs> um, so I don't know if that was, like, intentional or comedic. It's, you know, whoever was translating it, you know, I'm falling asleep. Uh, you know, Steve, uh, pick up the last three minutes of the translation, and they just did it different. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, what, so how was the sub? I mean, I, again, I watched the dub. Uh, I liked it. I had no complaints about voice it. Voice actors good? Yeah, all the voice actors were good. I uh, didn't find anyone's voice amazing. Yeah. Or not amazing, but annoying. Everyone's voice is fine enough. Uh, I, I honestly, all the, the dub actors were amazing. Amazing. I think Entity was really good placement of like their words. Like their mouths were matching. I honestly, I felt like they did it in dub first. Because <laughs> like, it was pretty solid. I had yeah. I had no like quarrels and that's because we just watched uh, akira yeah so uh make sure to check that out we it's already dropped make sure to check that out uh but we have not uh i'd I have no issues with um i should i wish i would have listened to one sub and the other dub like I, normally we do that yeah, but we I do forget, that. yeah. yeah I, I was i was watching i watched it twice already <laughs> so i watched them like i should have watched one in sub but i watched both in dub because i watched it a week ago yeah and then i rewatched it again just to like make sure i knew what i was going to talk about Okay. So it was, uh, and I watched it in dub because, you know, sometimes I'm just doing work and I want to just listen to it and just see if I can pick up on anything. But yeah. yeah, I did enjoy the dub. I had no quarrels with it at all. Uh, there was a lot more. Uh, I did, I, I the scene that I really, I really like was when he describes the, like, he's like, oh my God, I've been playing this game for like, I don't know how long, 30 minutes, an hour, and there's no bugs. Yeah. Which is funny to me because like, 
I, I don't ever notice them, but I'm sure they other people have noticed them where there's like clipping or like where you're going into the foreground and things like that. Yeah. But I, I've only seen a couple of that where it's bugged out. But if you're playing like shitty games, you're you're gonna bound it. And he, he actually talks about all the like the different bugs. Like one of them is like him phasing out of walls and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. And they have this like different animation style where it's like it's not chibi, it's kinda like 2D chibi. Yeah. And it it was kind of like an interesting uh, I thought it was really funny. Though. Yeah. He's talking about the bugs. They, they definitely had someone who's who's versed in gaming to to kind of direct that. that oh little scene. Yeah. yeah, no, it was, it was good. Yeah, no, I agree. They definitely those had are some... definitely common bugs and yeah, shit. Yeah, I, I can see that. Especially yeah. the one where he's like attacking someone that you can't hit. Like he's like, why won't it hit? You know, it happens, oh, it happens yeah. all the time. Yeah, yeah, you're like shit. He's <laughs> invincible. Yeah, no. So that I really enjoyed that uh, that scene, the little animation. I like how he keeps going back to this really shitty game because he even talks about the main villain like. How um, like if you she she was like killing everyone the entire like she killed the king by accident like she's just murdering these whole people yeah. and like they don't even notice it. I agree. Yeah, it was funny. All right. Um, you got any other ones? Uh, I don't know. What was one thing you really did not like about the anime? Like if you were like to say it's uh, main drawback right now, first two episodes. Uh, I mean the first two episodes, I I do feel like uh they were. They were leaving at spots I think they shouldn't have left at. The first episode ends with him running into the snake. Mm-hmm. And the second episode ends with him running into this like wolf-like character. Mm-hmm. Which, okay. were, which were kind of cool because it made me want to keep watching it. Yeah. But I, I honestly was like, is this how it always going to It's going to be repetitive like that? Yeah. So I was kind of like, I, I didn't really enjoy that. I feel like if that's going to be how it's always going to be. Every episode is repetitive where it's just him running into another villain or something like that. And then one day he runs into Ray and then it's another plot. So I don't really, I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, anything else? That's my big one. What about you? All right. uh, for me, the main drawback for me is there's no like uh, gravitas. There's There's nothing that's like driving the story like where's where's the danger where's the like how is he gonna like where's the big problem he's supposed to be solving you know like obviously he can die in the game it happens um you know he's got this like kind of love interest like you know the the main storytelling mechanism is going to be this game and like i was talking about sword art online the thing is is that they're stuck in the game permanently and if you die in the game like you die in real life yeah right no that the uh... so so there's like nothing like you know we're just watching the story unfold with like there's no stakes there's nothing right now i i've said this before and i and you've heard me i mean i'm multiple the reason i don't like that volleyball anime <laughs> <laughs> i've said that a lot of times actually yeah, yeah. iq the uh, reason i don't like it is i just finished devil man cry baby mm-hmm. we just finished akira so when you finish an anime that all the stakes were on the line like we're talking apocalyptic shit mm-hmm. and we're going to this anime it's like oh he didn't almost make it to the bed he would have to start from the beginning yeah oh wow he he's managed to save his game yes so <laughs> <laughs> i'm not sure if that's what you're experiencing but that's what i've experienced that's what you're, uh, yeah. I, no i don't know i just i just don't understand they haven't introduced like the main the main villain um they haven't fleshed out um exactly what's going to happen between him and ray obviously that's going to be a major major plot point um, you know, especially setting her up as like the uh, the badass, like the the numero uno, yeah. if you want to say, of the server. Um, it's just, yeah. You know, why do I want to keep watching it? You know, there's nothing that I really want to see solved right now, other than the possible mysteries of what could be. Yeah. That's all it is. Just, you know, they did hint at a big bad toward the end of season two, kind of. You mean episode two? Yeah. Episode uh, two. Who is that? They hinted at like. Like the, the servers. Oh yeah, yeah. That see, that was unique. Yeah. Um, I think I don't know if that was someone that they needed to watch out for. It was mostly saying to me, in my opinion, my interpretation yeah. is it's like it was like the main server, I guess, like running the game. Whether the, the whether maybe there is someone that's going to sit in the chair eventually, but what it was mainly saying is that zero monsters have ever been killed or unique monsters. There's yeah. like as far as the game's been released. There has been zero monsters killed, and um, our main character, I forget his name, Birdhead. <laughs> oh, <Kiro. laughs> yeah, he, he encountered like this rare monster, and we were, we're assuming, yeah, and nobody's ever killed one before. Yeah, that's like the big reveal. Now he's about to fight it, 
What, what I'm thinking, though, is that the person that's... So I guess those are the stakes I'm, yeah. I'm looking for. Um, yeah, well, I think that they're going to find out that he killed a monster. And again, we've only seen episode one and two. Mm-hmm. That he kills this monster and that he is uh, he is now, uh, like, people are looking at him. He has, like, eyes on him. And that See, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. I, th- I thought that, like, because it was, like, showing different players, I thought it was going to show, like, a little mini screen of him killing, like, that rabbit and be like, oh, look at this guy. Like, he actually did it. Yeah. So I think what it's setting up is that he's going to kill this wolf or whatever. And then, like I said, I think someone's going to go sit back down at the computer and be like, hold up, like this guy. Who killed this? Who killed, who yeah. killed my wolf? And, and, and he'll probably end up being someone that like, I'm going to log in <laughs> to Shangri-La yeah. and, you know. I agree. Be I think a, he's be a motherfucker be, over there. Yeah, he's going to be the one that's like, uh, <laughs> he's going to be the one that like is like a badass in the game. And I feel like there's going to be some plot points with that. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, all right, so let's get into it. Uh, so I guess the question is, uh, should we watch it or drop it? I'll go first. Go ahead. I actually, I found this one hard. I didn't want to watch it. I have a, 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 my own personal bias against it. So I never wanted to watch it to begin with. I'm already like thinking of reasons not to watch it. Um, but you know... It was it was entertaining. Like I want to see what happens. Um, I pr- I will be watching this. I'll be watching the next episodes. True. I honestly did not know if I was gonna like it or not, but I'll be honest. Um, I am gonna watch it as well. It is a watch for me. I am not really interested too much in the. I'm more interested in this love story. Love story. I'm more interested in how they're gonna pull it off. Like. Like, how are they, like I said, I'm interested in the stakes. They haven't introduced the stakes yet. I want to see that. How are they going to do it? Like, I like the way they're building the story. I like the dynamics that that they're building with the main character and how, you know, the slight little twist that they got to this. Because, I don't know, um, there's a bunch of anime out there that (laughs) center around uh, playing video games. Um, You named one? uh, Oh, High Score Girl. High Score Girl. All right. Uh, Bifuri is another one, which is like, I'm afraid of pain, so I like max my self-defense. It's also another game. Uh, Overlord is another anime based oh. on a game. I've watched that one. Yeah. Uh, what's on Sword Art Online has like three different anime. Yeah, no uh, game, no life. No game, no life. Yeah. yeah. There's a couple other ones. There's an OG one back in the day during Digimon era where you put in like a Nintendo 64 game and you get sucked into the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's an old school one. Yeah. But yeah, okay. So uh, I guess what I'm getting at is this is an idea that's been explored. Oh, okay. Before, so I'm curious as how Shangri Laws kind of make it different, right? Yeah. Obviously, it's not it can't follow the way Sword Art Online does, which is I watched it as it aired in like 2013 or 14, I don't know. But yeah. so I guess I'm curious. So it is watch for me. I want to check it out. I'm excited. Um, yeah. Do you? Uh, what are other people saying about? It? Not really saying, but <laughs> what are the people rating it? So, so we're, we're saying it's a watch. Are other people saying it's a that? watch? Okay. So on IMDb, it's got a 7.6 out of 10 on average. Uh, is that, that sounds shitty. It sounds shitty. Cause normally like ratings like that are kind of inflated. Um, although if you go to Crunchyroll, which this is where you watch it on, right? I did watch it on Crunchyroll. It's got a 4.9 out of five. Four. It's 4.9? 4. 4. 4.9 out oh, okay. of five. Okay. I don't know. That's not that, well, is that good. It says, uh, <laughs> 29,000 people voted on it. It's got a 4.9 out of 5. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it sounds that like, how many people voted for it? Only 5% give it four. I guess, I guess in country you can only give it a five star or a four star. Uh, no, no, they just have to give it a three or two star or maybe scroll down. No. Um, well, yeah. So 94% of everyone who rated this gave it a five star. Yeah. And then after that, it's four stars, 5%, three star, 2%. Two and one star. Oh, so it's like weighted average. Yeah, that's that's okay. I, I mean, I thought it was good. I don't think it was that good. But it, we've only seen the first two episodes. So, yeah. so let us know in the comments. Are we? Are you guys gonna watch this? Let me know if you've already watched it. If you're currently watching, if you read the manga, and let me know if you like it. We're yeah. we're we only watch the first two episodes. We're gonna keep watching it, and we're gonna do a follow up on all the anime that we said we're gonna watch. Yeah, no, I was about to say we're gonna have a um. I don't know. I guess like a closing kind of like New Year's maybe. Yeah, and um, we're gonna we're gonna stop and be like go back and look and all the watcher drops and some of them I I still am watching Undead Unluck. I'm still watching that one. Oh, same. You know, yeah. under under Ninja, I said it wasn't a watch. I think I might watch it just 
I just, thought about just because, it. Just because, yeah. I hear a lot of good, good shit about it. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, stay we'll, tuned. We'll, we'll go back and talk about it. It'll, yeah. it'll be coming. Yeah. So, Shaggy Long, we're not done talking about it. Yeah, I, I really, I do enjoy it, so I'm going to keep watching it. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll catch you guys later. All right. Bye. Later. How long was that?